All right, so a while ago, I uploaded a video about Siri being on the Mac and how I think it wasn't very functional and that the whole Mac OS Sierra update wasn't really worth it. But of course, you made the title, so there's two things that for me, it may not for you, but for me, make it quite, quite a bit more awesome. Primarily one, the other one's just kind of a personal thing. Now, is it as good as Yosemite or El Capitan? And no, but it's gonna make a big difference. And of course, it's free, so just get it anyway. It's free stuff from Apple, take it. So what I'm gonna show you is picture-in-picture -picture mode, which was really popular on the iPad iPad, and you can't do picture in picture with the regular YouTube app. There's some third party apps you can do it with on iOS but you can actually do picture in picture on YouTube when you're using Mac OS Sierra, any YouTube video, it's great. So right here we have this random YouTube channel I just happened to click on to use as an example. Talos of Leftovers, this looks like a movie review channel. Huh. Interesting. So let's pretend you're watching any YouTube video on YouTube ever. So here's one called Why Rogue One is Great, starring some weird kid. One, a Star Wars story is what they're calling it, I guess. It's the tagline. Oh, sorry. I don't. Yeah. You guys are here. So pretend you're watching that video, right? Here's the trick you double right click that video anywhere, hit enter picture in picture. Boom. It pulls itself out of the browser. You can minimize your window and now put that picture in picture any corner of the screen. And what's cool about this is you can still be using other apps. You can have them open and picture in picture goes on top of them. So you'll never cover up picture in picture accidentally. And of course you can even hide it on the side just like you do in iOS. And you just click that little arrow and it pops up. And of course if there's still audio and you put it to the side like that, you'll still hear the sound. And if it's minimized on the side like that, you can just hover your mouse over it for about three seconds and then it'll pop itself out just to get a little preview of it. And once you move your mouse out of the way, it goes back. And of course, you've got to exit, play pause, and put it back in the browser. I watch a lot of YouTube videos, and if you're watching this, I'm guessing you do too. That feature changed the way I compute because now I don't have to drag a whole window over somewhere when I'm editing a video. If I just have Premiere open, I can just put picture in picture in any corner, slide it off the screen, still be listening to it. That feature alone is so functional and underrated that it kind of makes me love Mac OS Sierra. Definitely a lot more than I did, given that Siri does do much. So what's that second thing? Well, if you're a videographer or photographer like me, you probably get annoyed by when you put an SD card into the computer and some random thing will pop up. That's a Windows thing too. It's like, oh, you want to do this? You want to do this? And on Mac, the thing it did was open photos. They're closed source cloud sharing photo app. I didn't want it. I tried to delete it, but I couldn't. And I'm sure there's a way I never figured it out. Or if you're not using photos, it would open iPhoto automatically and say, hi, let me help you import everything. No, I just want to access the raw files. Mac OS Sierra, they finally decided, you know what? We're not going to open anything. They know how to access the SD card. So now when you put an SD card into your computer, there's not some random pop-up that you have to force quit out of, which saves a lot of time for me. And it was a major annoyance I had for years with Apple computers that's now gone. It's okay to talk about it now because it's gone. See, now Apple's perfect. So those aren't two super major features, but to me, they made a huge difference and I love using them. So this is your Apple Sheep here and I will see you in the next one.